All right, so problem number one, your marriage is unequally yoked. <clears throat> Someone's going to, they're not going to say anything, Lord. They are on their face now. So never, can people hear me now? Some things happened. <clears throat> we are saved by faith in Christ and grace on one hand. On the other hand, only those that do the will of my father. I do the things I don't want to do and don't do the things I want to do. On the other hand, you are the vine. Apart from me, you can do nothing. My father is the vine dresser and he prunes and he will cut off any branch that does not bear fruit and will be thrown into the fire. Keep going, Lord. For our weapons are mighty to bring down strongholds against principalities. Our weapons are not of this world. Truly, I say to you, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out demons in your name? So, I am telling you the truth. Whenever I sit down with a Christian and we start trying to um, have fellowship and Paul gets brought up, I go into this weird, I, I don't understand what you are saying. Even when I read it, I don't understand it. And me and the Holy Spirit <clears throat> were saying, because the Holy Spirit just told me, it's not in the spirit. That's why Acts 21 is so pertinent. So your entire faith system is false. And it was left in there as a test. Who will you fall in love with, Jesus or Paul? And that's why your church will not work. You have the evidence now all around you and in front of you. Because I'm not going to honor it over my own word. So let's recap here. We have God, Jesus himself and his words versus the man I blinded. Letters versus the gospels. So yeah, every word of God is Holy Spirit inspired, worthy for instruction and correction. Run with it. Debate me on it. I love you.